Welcome back to today's video. We're going to talk about global block styles in WordPress core, not to be confused with the world's most intensely debated topic, which is global styles in advanced page builders like Bricks or Oxygen. And then those that are coming down into the middle of the road page building experiences, which is Elementor, Beaver Builder, Cadence to a degree. I covered that. Uh, I covered global styles for Generate Press recently launching that. Now talking about global block styles, which is available in the core WordPress page building experience, which is loosely regarded as the entry level to page building. In other words, it doesn't have all of those features and enhancements of other page builders. That's a debate for another video. So if you've never seen uh, global block styles, uh, let me introduce you to that today. It doesn't matter how you get to this. You go into the appearance and editor and you, I just go into the styles because that's how I think of this as a style. Although I think it should have its own view because this is sort of like nondescript tucked away. If you don't really know it's here, then you just never click on this. It says customize the appearance of specific blocks for the whole site and then it just says blocks. And when you click this, it gives you a list of all the blocks 2024 has access to that you can change the style to. I think it's a very important piece of the page building and website designing experience that it should have its own, I don't know, prominence somewhere across uh, the site building admin, not just like tucked away in the pane over here. Uh, you know, so that's just my opinion. We're going to focus in on the button block. Like I said, when I click on button, not to further confuse uh, the user, but it is confusing, style variations. What you don't realize is that you're already on the first variation, which is this, I don't know, filled in block. It's got the filled in background color with the text. And when you click on the style variation of the block called outline, it brings you to that block, which is an outline. Uh, and you can play with designing these two variations across the entire site. Just a nitpick thing for me is I would like to know that I'm already on the default uh, variation and then I want to modify that later, which is something that I think that they should list. Anyway, we'll go ahead and start to modify uh, the color in the background or the text color and background. That way you can really see some separation uh, and you can actually see these changes happening, right, for demo purposes. So we'll go ahead and change the text to something very annoying, like that orange against the green background. We'll make the font size super large, again, for sample reasons. <laughs> then we'll add a bunch of padding so we can just make this block uh, really obvious that we're changing the styles of it. And then you can play with the radius and make it super rounded or super square right there. And then lastly, move my face over here. We have this effects. And I think this is specific to 2024. Although I, I think I did read that 6.5 is also getting some extended effects uh, for certain classes. I'd have to just double check that. Let me know if you know in the comments, but we can add uh, these forms of shadow uh, against our button, which is pretty cool. Um, it's pretty nice to have those extra effects. Okay. So we'll hit save, save one more time. And now our button is changed across the entire site. Anywhere there's a button block, uh, our site will change it there. So there's that default call to action for the about us. And then down here, there's one for the sign up button uh, for the newsletter block. So really cool stuff. If we go to add a new page, you'll also see that button is updated across the previews of uh, patterns that you can insert into your page. Or if we just close that, and add a button in, you'll see there's our styled button right inside of our editor and global styles, baby. That's super easy uh, and really powerful that it's inside uh, WordPress core. And again, you might not know about it because you might not be digging for it and really even realize that that's an option inside uh, the site editor. Again, this is why I think it should have its own view. Like if I went to appearance editor uh, templates, like I would want to see all of my uh, styles for, uh, not templates, sorry, all the patterns. If I went and saw all of my styles, global styles for all of my blocks that I had access to, and then I could make variations, I could, you know, copy and, and delete and duplicate and just have one screen that I modified that stuff on because I think it is that important for, you know, building a theme inside the browser and not sort of tucked away 
uh, which a lot of the options are, which again, I know is the part of the frustration of, of using the core site editor and the core WordPress experience for building complex sites, sites, but um, still rather powerful. I'd like to see it on its own screen like this. What do you think? Leave the comments in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like today's video. As always, subscribe to the channel if you want more. The wpminute.com slash subscribe. It's the best way to stay connected. We'll see you in the next video.